no, actually, I think it's becoming the industry I wanted it to be, strangely enough. Because um, I, I, I actually think the most powerful marketing is where you define a brand and then you live that brand. And I don't think it's a television commercial or a press ad or a price promotion. I think it is, you know, as they say, like Brighton Rock, everything, you cut it through and it, it is that brand. I've also been very fortunate to have a really good team who who think the way, in, in as regards agencies and relationships, think the way I do too. So we've all been brought up where we know that relationships over time and you get are, are better than relationships that change regularly. So, you know, clear feedback, being honest, if you're pissed off, say you're pissed off, um, but say why and give people a chance to change and improve and get better. And it might not mean every ad or every whatever is 10 out of 10, um, but some will be over time, the average will be significantly better. Um, and also what you engender then is that feeling that everybody in the accounts, dawn and dusk, is, is their brain is thinking about my business. You, you've got to really know what you think and what you believe and what you want to happen. And then research helps you to either dissuade you from that or reinforce you in that. But I think the start point should be a clear sense from you of what you believe in. I don't want the consumer to make a choice for me Having said that, I want them to tell me what's important for them. So clearly a good researcher, as we all, re all know, will always get under the skin of something and go, what, what's, what are they reacting to? I'll give you an interesting example, sorry, you just prompted me, which is we've got a new commercial on the, on the telly at the moment, which is exploring um, um, life insurance. And it's Paul Whitehouse, who's dead. And he's kind of looking, he's kind of back in his family home, looking at his family about to go on holiday. It's quite a heavy subject. But that came from um, my boss going, we'll know we've got a really strong brand and a great campaign when we can do death. <laughs> so we, I'm afraid we call it the death film. But the, the point is, the research on it, we didn't, we didn't research that. What we did was get a film, get an idea, research the script, film it because it, it kind of came through incredibly powerfully and, the, and all the results follow. But the point is the core idea came from there's the challenge, that was the script, we researched it. We didn't go to customers, oh, do you feel about this or this or this? It wasn't a small sport of stuff. Uh, we were just really clear. And I have to say the, the, the social media stuff that I'm seeing at the moment on it is, is just wonderful. I suppose what we've done in the Future Prosperity, Future Prosperity panel is kind of created a team of people, which is effectively what we like best about when agencies work well. So what they bring into the room is a completely different way of thinking um, and bring different ideas from different places that mean that you can potentially reinvent a category, um, think again about a concept of something that totally changes something. Clearly, if you always use actuaries and accountants to create products, you're always going to get a derivation of what you've already got. And I think sometimes if you introduce completely fresh, innovative thinking, it just will change things on their axis and it might fundamentally ch create a different concept or a different way of thinking about something which invites a whole new bunch of people into a market because they get why they should do it. You know, I, I love it when new members of an agency team come in and they, they clearly read a billion times more than I ever read and they just are full of ideas because everything, they just look differently at things. So you won't get the same old, same old. I think where I hope to see advertising is that it will finally have lost the idea that everything has to be expressed in a 30 second piece of film and put on the television. Um, that doesn't mean to say that pieces of incredibly powerful film will no longer have a place in a communications mix. They will, and I suspect with the, in the iPad world and everything else, even more so because there'll be a lot of different mechanisms to view those sort of things. But I do still think in part it's sort of stuck in that world and um, it judges itself against that world and it rewards against that world. But all of those other things around a brand like, you know, what do you stand for? What sort of company are you? Do you believe in balanced leadership? Do you 
think about society and your role? Do you look after people less fortunate than yourself or whatever else? All of those dimensions will be important. There's no question of it. Um, and you will pick up those strands. There is a brilliant planner, I believe, who said this, and I'm afraid I can't attribute it to him because I don't know who it was. But, you know, you build a brand like a bird builds a nest. And now more than ever, I think, you know, that nest is being built because you've got all these channels and all this, you know, multivariate different ways of doing it. Because as I do live in a, in a, in a left brain world uh, and, and I see the power of right brain thinking, I mean, and it's an awful shorthand really for, for, for all that I'd probably want to, to, to praise the industry for. Um, but, but don't undervalue that. And on the basis that, you know, we are all human beings. So for as ever complicated this gets, humanity and navigating that is probably the most powerful route. Um, that is something that is unique to the ad industry or the, the communications industry and is something worth paying for because you ain't going to get it anywhere else. So I wish it would sort of stop feeling hard done by and start being proud of good stuff. <laughs>